with multiple option buttons and what is the VBA code to use multiple option buttons. So here on this sheet, I have one command button. Once I click on this command button, it shows me the user form. In this user form, I have one text box where I can enter any name. So let me enter name as Excel destination. And then I have gender. For gender, I have op three options. I can select any of them. And for interest, I have three options. Out of these three, I can select any option. So let me select reading. Once I select these two option buttons and I fill this text box and once I hit enter on this submit button, then it will transfer the selected data on the sheet one in next available row and blank or uncheck all these options. When I click on this exit button, this will close the user form. I can click on this command button that I have on this sheet to show the user form again. So let's see how we can create all this and what is the VBA code. So let me open a new Excel file. On this new Excel file, let me copy the row headings. And then let me close the previous file or this file. Now what I'll do, I'll go to developer tab from insert option from ActiveX control, I will select a command button and I will drag a command button here. Then right click, select properties change the caption to make it show user form. Now I'll click on this and then I can double click on this command button to reach to VBA editor. Here we can see on left hand side we have this workbook. Right click here, select insert and user form. Now we can see one user form is here. Here from this toolbox, let me select level and drag a level here. And then right click on this level, properties, caption, let me make it name and then let me select another level and one more level for second level I will give name as gender for level 3 we can change caption to interest now what i'll do i will select all these three levels and then from left let me write here 10 then font, I will select font, make it bold and let's use the size as 12. Now it is clearly visible. Now next we will add here one text box and then I want to add three option buttons for gender and three option buttons for interest so here what i'll do we have activex control as frame so i will select frame drag a frame here 
now we can see frame one is coming as name so in properties for this frame wherever we have this caption i will delete this now within this frame i will use i will drag three option buttons one option button two and option button three here also we can change the font or whatever property we want but for option button one caption i will make it as m a l e mail for option button two let's make it email for option button 3 let me make it other now by using control and selecting all three of these let me make it bold and size as 10 so in this frame if i select first option button we can see name is coming as option button 4 sorry option button 1 for female option button 2 for other option button 3 in the same way for interest i will add one frame here here also I will delete the caption now in this second frame also I will drag and drop three option buttons so when I am dragging and dropping this option button it is coming as option button 4 then option button 5 option button 6 here for this option button 4 let me write caption as m u s i c music for option button 5 caption as reading option button 6 caption as movies using control button i will select all these three then font let me make it bold size as 10 okay so now we have done the designing part for option buttons now what i'll do i will select command button one command button for submit let me write caption here as submit font as bold 10 okay one more command button to exit from form so here let me write exit font as bold and 10 now i can close this property window or if you want to make change or adjust any property we can do that so we can just select the active x control and then in property window we can change any of the property for that selected active x control now it's time for writing code so if i want to transfer data from this user form to sheet one let me show you the sheet one in second row or not second row 
वॉट एवर इज दी नेक्स्ट अवेलेबल रो सो फॉर दैट आई विल राइट कोड हेयर ऑन सबमिट बटन सो लेट मी डबल क्लिक ऑन दिस सबमिट बटन सो फर्स्ट आई विल चेक विच रो इज दी लास्ट फील्ड रो टू चेक लास्ट फील्ड रो सो दिस इज कमेंट न कोड इज लास्ट रो इक्वल टू वर्कशीट शीट नेम इज शीट वन डॉट सेल्स हेयर वी नीड टू राइट रो एंड कॉलम सो आई वॉन्ट टू नो रो नंबर रोज डॉट काउंट एंड देन कॉलम लेट मी राइट वन फॉर फर्स्ट कॉलम और कॉलम ए डॉट एंड एक्स एल अप डॉट रो सो दिस विल फाइंड द लास्ट फील्ड रो सो राइट नाउ वी कैन सी लास्ट फील्ड रो इज वन now what is the code for sending data from text box to sheet 1 in the next available row in first column so i'll write here worksheets then sheet name that is sheet 1 dot cells now here again i need to give row and column so i'll write here last row plus 1 that means last filled row plus 1 that means next available row column is a that is 1 dot value equal to text box 1 dot text so what is this text box 1 so we can go to user form then this is the text box if i check the property we can see name is coming as text box 1 okay now let me double click on submit button and write the next code the next code is for gender and for gender we want to transfer data in column b row would be same that is next available row so here i'll write if option button 1 dot value equal to true then then what i want worksheets sheet 1 dot cells last row plus 1 comma 2 that means second column dot value equal to option button 1 dot caption we can give a straight forward name or any string value or any text value but this is the best practice option button 1 dot caption and and if now i will copy this from if to and if paste here option button 2 i will make it all things will be same if option button 2 dot value equal to true then what should happen option button 2 dot caption control v again and change here as 3 here also as 3 so now we are done for transferring data for gender now let me write code for interest so here also i can copy this but if option button 4 and what is option button 4 let me show you here this is option button 4 reading is option button 
movie is is option button six so if option button four dot value equal to true then what i want this value i want to transfer in column three so here also i will make it three option button four dot caption now i will copy this now you understand why here i will make it five here also i will make it five control c one more time control v option button six option button six dot caption now we are done with coding part some code is left now let me double click on this user form and then double click on this exit button exit button i can simply write unload me or unload user form one now let's check our code but before that if i go to sheet one and double click on this show user form it will not show me user form so what i have to do double click here and i will write code as here for once i click on this command button then i want to show user form so user form one dot show let me close this vb editor window click on design mode now let me click on this command button we can see that text box is there option buttons are there command buttons are there so whatever i enter in this text box i can select anything from gender i can select anything from interest so why we are able to select only one out of three because we have added three command sorry three option buttons within one frame so within one frame whatever number of option buttons we add we can select only one so that is the quality or functionality of frame and now we understand how to use frame let me click on submit we can see data is entered in the next available line and i can click on this exit button to close user form and i can open the user form again now let me add one more data click on submit we can see that we are transferring data but once we transfer data then it is not making text box as blank or these option buttons as unselect so we can add some more code so how we can do that so let me go to vv editor window double click on user form double click on submit button so at the end of the code for submit button just few lines we will add text box one dot value equal to blank two inverted commas and then option button one dot value equal to false and again instead of writing control c for option button two three four five six and you know that what i'll do make it two make this as three this one as four five and last one six
now once we have done this so this is all we need to do here let me go to sheet again click on design mode now let me check if it is working in name let me write something gender select interest as movies submit and we can see that now text box is blank and ready to be used again now i will click on this exit button so this is how we have seen that what is the vba code to use multiple option buttons how we can utilize frame and how we can transfer data using option buttons so thanks for watching if you have any question around option button you can write into comments or you can send me email you can subscribe to my channel for getting notifications for new vba tutorials thank you